a good morning and a happy fucking Monday. Hi, how are you? Um, it is, what is today? <sighs> the 25th of April. <laughs> Where have you been, cat? Uh, so, um, I don't know what my last vlog included, what it didn't include. So I'm just going to back up. So, not last weekend, but the weekend before last, we went to Carolina Beach. And we left Thursday after my husband got off work. We got halfway to the beach, and I realized I had forgotten my computer bag. My computer bag included my computer, of course, uh, for work on Friday, and uh, my GoPro. Uh, yeah, so, and then I accidentally deleted all of my footage from last week, or week before last. So then, while we were in uh, Carolina Beach, my husband and I were sitting on the beach and we're like, you know, let's go to Myrtle. So, we uh, got a Airbnb on the beach. Uh, in a resort that, uh, in the resort we want to buy in. Uh, and we went to Myrtle Beach. We came home first for, first for a day, uh, especially to get my computer. But then I had forgotten my GoPro. So I was in Myr North Myrtle Beach, Cherry Grove area, all last week. Um, it was fabulous. It was absolutely fabulous. I, I did not want to come home, if that tells you how good it was. So last week was interesting because I um, went to a different gym while I was in Myrtle Beach. Mm. It's called Iron Legacy. It's in Myrtle Beach. So I had like a 20 minute drive. Oh, those are good. I got the Southwest Simply Potato hash browns. I try them, and they they got a nice spice to them. Yum. Mm. So last week I trained all by myself the entire week. Got my ass up, got my ass up at four a.m. Left my left the condo at like five five fifteen. I was there by you know five thirty ish five thirty five, and I was done by you know quarter to seven. Um, yeah, I was very proud of myself for keeping it up. And I didn't have a drop of alcohol the entire week. I'm very, very proud of myself. I even bought wine. Because I was like, oh yeah, Saturday I'm going to drink wine and get tipsy out on the beach and blah, blah, blah. And then Saturday came and I was like, eh, I don't feel like it right now. Maybe I will tonight. And I had it, I had it in my cooler uh, getting cold. And I didn't drink any. So very proud of myself on that. Mm. My allergies are absolutely killing me today. Probably from driving around topless yesterday. In the, in the Jeep. I wasn't topless. The Jeep was. Um, so anyway, uh... Every day I burned at least 400 calories at a minimum. Uh, I brought all my food with me. So I stayed pretty much on track for breakfast and lunches. Dinners. I mean, there's no, no food I can't have, right? But... Yeah, um, I didn't gain any weight. I didn't lose any weight the week I was gone. Stayed the same. I call that a win. Um, 
Yeah. I don't know if it's because I'm up 10 pounds still. And I know from uh, what my doctor told me, research I've done, blah, 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 the uh, testosterone that I got, you gain like 10 pounds of water weight because it like sucks all of, the, sucks a bunch of water into your muscles. <sighs> so that's probably what it is. I, I've been at this weight, I've been at one or 260, 264 for like two weeks now. I'm a little annoyed. I'm not going to lie, but I'm trusting the process and uh, it'll be okay. I mean, it's just a number on a scale. But I have goals, you know? So, we got home yesterday. We didn't fully unpack. That's what, like, some of this stuff here on the couch is. I haven't fully unpacked yet. Um, one of my best, best friends... And her baby, my goddaughter, is coming into town on Friday. And I'm on baby duty because she's, her and my husband are going to, they both are obsessed with Jimmy Buffett. <clears throat> so they're going to the Jimmy Buffett concert on Friday. And me and Miss Cheyenne are going to stay home and get into something. So. Yeah. Uh, so today was a class day. Back at the gym, everybody was like giving me hugs and hey, what's ups and how was vacation and blah, blah, blah. My trainer was like, I'm fucking proud of you. Because every morning I snapped a picture of like the billboard outside and you know, it says Iron Legacy and then posted my you know how many calories I burned to stay accountable because I know he watches <laughs> he pays attention to my stories so um yeah yeah so Friday was the worst because like I went back through like my app that my coach has for us and I picked out different workouts to do right and then like Wednesday was hard but not as hard as Friday Friday I picked out the um, rear posterior chain workout that I hadn't done since like December <sighs> yeah oh my nose uh, my, my glutes are still sore. <laughs> it's that damn banded hip thrusts. And this gym that I went to, it's like an old school bodybuilding gym. Um, there wasn't a lot of places like for stretching or anything like that, but it's okay. Um, I did 10 minutes uh, incline walk on the treadmill. My husband did come with me on Thursday because that was my bench press day and I wanted him there just to spot me. I knew there was other people, you know, people there would have spotted me if I needed it, but I would rather have my husband there, you know, somebody I'm comfortable with. Um, but I mean, it was a good vibe in the gym. So yeah. Um, so today was class day. I burned 358 calories. Class just doesn't seem to work me as hard as it used to anymore, which is a good thing. It means I'm progressing, right? So today, I start, started out with the ropes, rope slams, then bag kicks, tricep pull downs, 
expanded wise plank on the boil ball or whatever it's called the half ball thing assisted uh, assisted pull-ups uh, row row machine uh, bike uh, weighted squats and then sled pull we were pulling the sled with weight on it so it was good it was good then we did you know a plank and then a run I ran both times that we we ran I ran I didn't walk so class is getting easier for me I'm not saying it's easy <laughs> it's still freaking hard but it's getting easier I was starving mm. so that's four ounces of simply potatoes a cup of egg whites two laughing cow cheeses and some hot sauce 10 out of 10 recommend oh, so that's it oh, um, I've got work to do I did work a little bit yesterday I was not in a good headspace yesterday um, I was supposed to go to a brick dedication ceremony for our daughter Layla and I just I couldn't bring myself to do it I couldn't uh, when she passed away literally while we were driving home from the hospital uh, I got a phone call and uh, it was the organ donation people and uh, they said look you know her major organs are too damaged but her eyes are good and we want to know if you we could donate her if you if you'd be willing to donate her eyes and so we did because she would have wanted that but I I just mentally could not do it yesterday it's a it's so funny how grief works and the waves of emotion and grief and <sighs> when I realized what because one of we call them her second dad um, he's one of our best friends and he had a daughter same age as or he has a daughter same age as Layla and we used to be neighbors and he was going to go with us and he's like hey you know we still on for today i hadn't heard from you and i'm like shit that was today and he's like yeah and me and my husband were still in myrtle beach we were sitting in a restaurant eating breakfast ready to head home and uh i had a complete breakdown just sobbing <sighs> that's always fun especially in public so um, it's so funny how I can I, I her, uh, de her, uh, whatever I, I have different areas in my brain that I don't access right and it's like it's not suppression it's almost like I can forget certain things, but then when they're brought up and brought to the forefront, then that's when I'm struggling. And so today I'm struggling. Still. <sighs> yeah. And I got too much work to do to have a mental health day. Olaf's over here itching and hitting the table. Good boy. 
they missed us, that's for sure. So, you're caught up. Can I just tell you about Saturday real quick before my battery dies? Saturday, of course, I didn't go to the gym. It was rest day. And I got up, made myself some breakfast. I was out at the beach by 10.15. Stayed out at the beach until about 1.30. Came back in, used the restroom, grabbed my lunch that I already had made. I made like little ham sandwiches on sweet Hawaiian Hawaiian rolls. Went back out to the pool, ate my sandwiches, laid on my stomach because I I tried laying on my stomach on the beach, but the pat, the sand was so hard packed it it was not comfortable. So um, yeah, then kind of fell asleep laying on my stomach by the pool, and then I about three thirty I came back in. So I was like, I think I might be sunburned. And sure enough, I was. It's all turned to tan now, mostly. But, uh, yeah. It was a a fabulous day. It was the best day ever. My husband went fishing. Yeah, it was great. It was great. And, of course, I didn't bring you along with me. (laughs) So that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good afternoon. Happy Tuesday. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I am good. I'm really good today. So yesterday, after I recorded my video, uh, I had a bit of a breakdown. Um, I don't remember. I don't even remember what I said yesterday, but I was supposed to go to this brick laying ceremony for our daughter that passed away. Um, she donated her eyes and... I couldn't bring myself to go to it because there's going to be media there and there was a lot of media attention surrounding it, blah, blah, blah. Um, And then I was beating myself up yesterday for not going on Sunday. So, um, I, uh, I had a rough day yesterday and luckily... You know, I woke up this morning and I'm fine. It's so funny how grief works, right? Like, a big wave. Like, you know, imagine you're in the ocean, right? And you get those little waves of, you know, emotion hitting you. And then every once in a while, a great big wave hits you, knocks you off your feet, and you're tumbling in in the surf. That was me yesterday. Um, I still worked yesterday. I just took it easy because I was just mentally checked out. So yeah, it was, it was insane. It was the first day, bad day I've had. And I don't, I don't remember the last bad day I had. So that's a good thing. Um, so today was coach day with my personal trainer. Uh, I burned 400. This is the first time I yawned all freaking day. <laughs> I start recording, I start yawning. Like, what the hell? Anyway, uh, I burned 457 calories. We did. Let me tell you exactly what we did. Um, we did squats today. Uh, first set of reps was only at 145 pounds. Um, hang on, use black one warm up. So the bar I use is 45 pounds. So my warm up was a hundred was, uh, 55 pounds. And then rep, uh, sets two to four was 90 pounds plus 45, 135 pounds. And then the last set was 105 pounds, so 150 pounds. So that those are my squats for today, um, and I did really well with those. Then seated hip abduction uh, at 100 pounds hip 
adduction at 130 pounds, uh, V squat RDLs 240 pounds, and then loaded leg extensions at 55 pounds. Um, so yeah, it was a really good workout. Worked my worked my body out. Um, I damn it, cat. <laughs> I am going to Hamilton tonight. I'm super excited about it. Um, so I'm I'm eating super light today uh, because I'm meeting my friend to go have dinner at Lusa's. I, Luca's, I think is what it's called. It's in Uptown Charlotte. It's an Italian restaurant, homemade pasta. Um, I'm only sitting at 597 calories right now. I might have a small, like a, a small yogurt or something later, but I, I'm keeping it super low calorie so I can eat whatever the hell, well, I'm getting chicken piccata because that's what I always get. Cause it's so, uh, when I tell you the chicken piccata is the best I've ever had, oh, it's so good. The lemon just carries through. It's, it's so good. Um, so I'm getting the chicken piccata and then going to Hamilton gonna get dressed up just a little bit nothing too too fancy but still you know nice um so yeah I'm excited for that I got to do my hair I've already taken a shower but I didn't want to wash my hair so I've got to curl my hair and make it look cute and blah 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 so maybe I should do that since I'm slow but I do want to take I am going to take a nap because um I First off, I'm yawning. <sighs> but second of all, um, Hamilton's not going to get done until like, I'm not going to be home until like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. So I need to get some good rest um, so that I, I'm, I'm able to make it to class tomorrow morning. Um, speaking of class, so the, hang on one second here. Uh, my, my coach is like, so how soon do you want to start, you know, working out on your own? Because I was, you know, I, since I wasn't with him at all last week, um, I was, you know, telling him, you know, I missed him. I miss working, working out with him, but I also enjoyed working out by myself, you know, have my headphones on, got some Nicki Minaj playing in my ears. I was enjoying it. You know, you get in a zone and it, it was great. It was therapeutic. Um, but I, uh, he's like, how, you know, how soon do you want to start doing that? I'm like, as soon as possible. And he's like, well, why don't we start doing, um, one day where you just work out on your own, you know, still keep Tuesday and Thursday with him. And then you can do class two days in a week. And I was like, sounds good. So, um, Mondays I'm going to be working out by myself. Tuesdays and Thursdays with my personal trainer and Wednesday and Friday class days. So I'm very excited about that. Um, yeah, it's exciting. So, and he's probably going to be doing upper body days on Monday, which is fine. I'll be all right. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm not too nervous about it. Um, especially since, oh, Jesus. Since I know where everything is at this gym, that was the thing with the other gym that I was working out at in Myrtle Beach. You know, it was, it was a, it was a bodybuilding gym, first of all. Um, and the guy who owns it is like an old school bodybuilder. So he, you know, he caters to the bodybuilders, not the power lifters like me. Um, but he, uh. Mm. I love this. This is my favorite cup from Starbucks. <sighs> oh, and I also saw the owner of my gym today, and I was like, "Look, man, you need. We need to get a um, a gym dog." And he's like, "I brought my husky in here before, and it was a disaster." I'm like, "Well, you don't bring a husky in. You bring like some laid back, chill old dog. You know, rescue one, and." you know, just let it live in here. 
He's like, mm, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I think that's about it. It's a really good workout day today. Um, yeah, it, my personal trainer was like, so what day do you want to, you know, work out on your own? Monday, Wednesday, or Friday? I was like, Monday. <laughs> so that I can sleep until, you know, sleep until 5, get there about 6.15-ish, and, you know, get in, get an extra hour of sleep. Um, so, yeah, I'm, ex I'm very excited to start doing this on my own. Um, Hamilton, <sighs> I am going to go take a nap, which is like a 45 minute power nap. That's probably, that's not really a power nap, but like a 45 minute nap since I'm going to be up so late tonight. Otherwise I would probably be falling asleep during Hamilton. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's a good idea. And I'm slow today, which is fine. I'm all for a slow day. Um, yeah. Oh, my husband got me this. Isn't that cute? It says no pants, no problem. <laughs> With a little Peter Rabbit in it. He saw it at Walmart the other day. And... Yeah, he's so cute. So I'm keeping him on my desk for now. I'll start using the coffee cup at some point. But yeah, oh, speaking of coffee, I gotta get my damn <sighs> coffee creamer. I'm out. Casper's making, we're, we've got storms rolling in right now. Um, I just let the dogs back in from being outside so they could do their thing, handle their business. Uh, before the rain hits. I hate, I hate driving in the rain. Jeep my new Jeep is is very good um but my old Jeep it handled horribly in the rain sorry I have to get this off right now um My old Jeep, it was a two-door, um, just a two-door sport Jeep. And anytime I hit a puddle, I mean, it was, it, it would, I would slam into things. Like it would, I, I would, I almost went off the road one time. It was terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's about it. Maybe I'll show you my outfit later. I'm just wearing a simple black dress, short dress, some little, I don't know what shoes I'm going to wear for sure yet, but I'll figure it out. Get my hair done, get my makeup on, you know, you've never seen me like that. I don't think it's been a while if you did. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so that's it. I will um, either check in later or tomorrow for sure. So let me get my app back up here again. I will see you later. Bye. Did you stop? I don't know. This stupid thing. Hel Hello? Hi. I think. I think it's working. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you? Happy Thursday. Um, 
Yeah. It was a great day so far today. I forgot to record anything yesterday, so go me. Well, here's here's the truth of the matter. I did not work out yesterday. I didn't get home from Hamilton until, well, I got home about 11.15. I didn't get in bed. I probably didn't fall asleep until like 12.30-ish. So, yeah. I, uh... <laughs> I w I did wake up, give myself credit where it's deserved. I did wake up and um, at 4 a.m. yesterday morning, tired. Oh, I was so tired. <laughs> I drank my cup of coffee, went and got my piece of toast with peanut butter on it and ate my piece of toast. And it was like as soon as that that food hit my stomach, I was like... Couldn't keep my eyes open. Could not do it. Um, so I was like, okay, well, I have a day off today because I'm fucking tired. Um, so, yeah, good times there. Um, I will pro I will be going uh, Saturday morning to work out uh, in for class. Um, I could have gone yesterday, or, yeah, last night. Um, but then I was like, I don't know if there's any rules around that. I don't know. So I was just like, I'm taking the day off today. I'll work out on Saturday. Not a big deal. Um, so today was my personal trainer day. Um, and we did deadlifts. You can, yeah, you can probably still see my hands are super. Them calluses are coming through. <laughs> it's so excited. Did I turn on myself? I did. Look at me go. So we did deadlifts today. Um, we started with deadlifts. I did five sets total. First set was 135, second set. Second set was 155, third set was 175, and the eighth set uh, was 185. All of them eight reps. Um, so it was good. Um, then we did lat pull downs at 100 pounds. Um, vertical rows at 90 pounds, uh, dumbbell opposite isolated chest supported rows. Um, I had 30, uh, 35 pound dumbbell in each hand and you're like inclined like this on your chest. You should have seen me when I first got on. <laughs> so it's a bench, you know, a bench that folds, right? And I, when I first got on, like my face was all like I, I was, I had to like get up and like reset. I was, I was laughing hysterically. So was my my coach. It was fucking hilarious. But and then you, you're, you pull the weights up here and then one at a time. Boom, boom, working them lats in the back and yeah. So um, and then we did uh, cable pull off press. I think is how, how you say it. So I burned today, let me pull that up, 465 calories. Um, yeah. I had a dermatology appointment today and I was like, I want a fountain diet Pepsi so bad. Um, Cause there's just something about a fountain pop, right? That's what Peter Mon always calls them, fountain pops. Prayers for Peter. Uh, anyway, so I stopped at Bojangles and got me a, a fountain pop, <laughs> a fountain drink. Um, we, my dermatologist is putting me back on, I can't remember the name of the medication, but um, it helps with hormonal acne and my rosacea. Um, you know, I was in the sun a lot last weekend and the weekend before I was... The weekend before it was cloudy, overcast, blech. Um, so I didn't wear a hat, but like I did wear a hat, like a big brimmed hat and, you know, lots of, you know, 50 SPF on my face because I know that aggravates my rosacea and it's still, yeah. So um, I start that medication again starting tomorrow um, and... Then my doc, my regular mm -hmm. doctor just wants me to monitor my blood pressure and make sure I'm not getting too low and blah, blah, blah. 
And then if I am, then I go off of the blood pressure medication and just stay on the stuff for my, my acne. So Casper's trying desperately to play fetch with me and I don't play fetch. Why is my son's alarm clock? That was weird. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, so that appointment went well. I do have a thyroid appointment on the 9th. So that's not next Monday, it's the following Monday. Um, because I have lumps on my thyroid. So I, I'm sure they're gonna wanna do a biopsy. That kind of scares me, but it is what it is. Um, and then go from there. Again, I'm not worried about having cancer because like a cancer doesn't run in our family. Like nobody died of cancer in my family. Now my dad's parents, both of them, <laughs> bless them, they both died of cirrhosis of the liver due to alcohol. Uh, they were both alcoholics. Um, another reason why I needed to stop drinking alcohol so much. Um, Casper, buddy, you're being very demanding right now. Um, but nobody, they, like cancer doesn't run in our family. So I'll just keep, you know, do what I gotta do. I don't know what the hell's going on. Anyway, um, so that's about it for today and yesterday. I just worked all day yesterday. Uh, oh, my son. My son's getting his first, like, his own car. He's buying his first car. Um, he's getting a mini Clubman, and he's super stoked about it. He's getting it, I think, tomorrow. Um, it's used, of course. It's not brand new. I would never, I don't care how much money I have, I will never buy a brand new vehicle again, unless it's like a Jeep Wrangler or something that holds its value very well, like a Wrangler does. Um, so, Casper, you're a hot mess express, son. Um, yeah, so he's very excited about that. Um, one of my best friends is coming in from Austin this weekend. Uh, her and my husband are both huge Jimmy Buffett fans. So they're going to the Jimmy Buffett concert while I babysit. So I'm going to get a baby fix this weekend. I'm super excited. Um, I've got tomorrow, I've got to go upstairs and get our guest room like dusted and put on some clean sheets and all that fun stuff. So <sighs> anything else going on in my life works, work is work. It's not, I mean, I'm not terribly busy. I'm not terribly slow. It's just, it is what it is at this point. Um, cause the market's just so crazy. Um, I think my son's alarm clock is possessed. It's like ringing and then stopping and then ringing. It's weird. Anyway, um, Yeah, that's about it. I'm uh, I'm very encouraged with my progress. Like all of my weight is going up, you know, like how much I'm lifting, so on and so forth. I'm hungry, it's 4.30 and I'm like fucking hungry. Oh, I cleaned my laundry room today. <laughs> that, that might not seem like a lot. And it, yeah, let's just be real, it took me like 10 minutes. But you know that area in your house where you just don't want to clean, you don't want to pick up, you don't want to organize? That's my laundry room. Well, and my bedroom too, to be honest. But my laundry room, it was like boom, boom, done. So that's done. That's checked off my list. Um, I do want to get my half bath all. I want to redo our half bath because um, it's, ugh, I can't stand it. Because our the people that lived here before they took, it's wallpaper, but it looks like um, wains wainscoting, you know, like the wood slats, but it's wallpaper, and so that's in my half bath. It's all it goes up our stairs. It's in our hallway upstairs. It, ugh, they used it everywhere, and it's 
it's horrible. It's horrible. Oh, anyway, um, so that's a project. I already have the, the remover, the wallpaper remover solution stuff. So that's a project I got to get done. One thing I'm doing this weekend is I'm going to get my front uh, flower beds all looking pretty and ready for spring because it's here. Like it's it's seven, it's eighty almost eighty degrees out right now. It's oh, my aloe my aloe plant that I kept alive all winter. I do not have a green thumb. I do not have a green thumb, and this aloe has survived. Um, so I put that back outside cause there's no chance of frost anytime soon. It, it, it does get cool at night still, but, um, yeah, my hands are still sore from today. <sighs> That's about it. Nothing exciting. Dogs are chilling. Casper finally gave up. Bless his heart. <sighs> yeah. I don't know what, I've got to make something for supper. We didn't like, I didn't like plan out what we we're going to have for dinner this week. I'm going to do that for next week because it's so much easier. So I'm going to do that when I get off of here. And then, so I know what I need to get. I need to clean out my refrigerator too. But, baby steps, right? <laughs> oh, bless it all. Bless it all. I don't know what is going on. I, and I don't want to go upstairs. My legs are fucking killed. That's one thing I've got to do is my, I'm doing, after my, I'm going to take a nice hot shower tonight and then get in bed and put my compression things on and start it up and do some compression therapy on my legs tonight. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Oh, there, oh there's, there is a condo for sale where we want to buy two bedroom. It's just in the wrong. Okay, so the Baywatch Resort is where we want to buy our condo, right? And there's three huge towers out front. And we want, I want the one furthest on the right when you're looking at the buildings because it, it, it's the you know shortest distance to the uh, parking garage. You know, there's an elevator that you, you, it's just right there. It's most convenient. Um, but I think this one's in the middle building and that sucks. So, yeah. I mean, this is where I'm going to retire, right? So it's like I got, I, I want to get exactly what I want. Me and my husband both. And it's a two bedroom which is what I want, at least a two bedroom. Um, so I have a home office slash guest room and of course our own bedroom. So yeah, <sighs> I wish I was at the beach right now. I'd be sitting, cause I'm so slow right now. I'd be sitting out on my patio working. <laughs> <laughs> ah, anyway, well, that's it. Um, I will check in with you guys tomorrow. And um, I'll be I'll be leaving to go to the airport to pick up my friend tomorrow at this time. So I can't wait. I cannot wait to see her. I haven't seen the baby in person yet, so I can't wait to see her. Ugh. And and, to, and just to get a baby fix, right? Like I love babies, especially when they're not mine. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I I had horrible pregnancies, so like I don't want. I would never want another kid because I don't want to go through pregnancy again. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it. You guys be good, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Is it not gonna do it again? Good morning. Happy Friday. We made it through another week. God, my I am sore. I'm sore. <clears throat> my throat hurts from my allergies. But I still went and worked out this morning. Um, class day today. I burned. I only burned like 200 and some calories. 
280 calories. I should have walked on the treadmill afterwards, but all the treadmills were full. So that couldn't do that. And I hate the ellipticals. Like, they don't... They hurt my knees. And I know that ellipticals aren't supposed to, uh, are supposed to be, like, the best thing for your knees. Who knows? Maybe I'm just doing them wrong. I don't know. Mmm. World's best breakfast. So, <clears throat> today's the day. My bestie, one of my besties, flies in today with my granddaughter. Granddaughter. She's not really my granddaughter, but I'm her Gigi. <clears throat> I'm very excited about it. Got the house all done yesterday. Only thing I got left to do is just vacuum dust and stuff the guest room because, you know, nobody has, nobody's been in there in months. So I'm sure there's a nice layer of dust on everything. So dust the room, get the uh, baby crib set up. I got to take Olaf. I don't trust Olaf around the baby. Um, I don't think he would do well. Especially because he loves Carrie, my, my friend that's coming. And I don't know. I just don't trust him. And if he gets the zoomies. Like, he's the only one that really gets the zoomies in the house. Um... So, yeah, I don't want him to, you know, I, I, he wouldn't purposefully, like, hurt the baby. But I, he he thinks he's a fucking chihuahua. <laughs> and he's a 120-pound Great Dane. So, yeah, no. But he absolutely loves the people that he's, that, I, that own the boarding place. He loves the the guy. He's a guy's dog. When it comes to like strangers, he loves men. Or like, you know, people not inside the house. So, yeah. Um so today we uh it was all weights. Um we didn't even do squats, which I was kind of surprised about. Um, we did, I started with the shoulder press, it's just like this motion. You got your hands on these handles and you're just going like this with weight. Um, then uh, plank on that half medicine ball thingy with push ups. And this, this area here again in my chest is hurting. I don't know what the fuck. Anyway, then we did hip abduction, abductor. Um, then we had to run to the other end of the gym and do lat pull down, not lat pull downs, tricep pull downs, um, preacher's chair, seated rows, uh, chest press. I don't know. It's like a back fly machine. I don't know. It works your back. Um, then another like different chest press and then shoulder presses. So, I mean, it's a lot. And then a run in between each. We didn't do any plank in between for some reason this time, but hmm. The Southwest Simply Potatoes are so good. If you don't like spice, then of course you won't like them. But I love spicy food. I even put hot sauce on top of it. 
So, mm, so good. And it's the same amount of calories as just the regular Simply Potatoes. So I was like, fuck yeah. I'm, I'm going to stop weighing myself every day because I'm getting so frustrated that, you know, I'm following my plan. I'm exercising, busting my ass at the gym. Right there. Do you, I wish I didn't have a hoodie on, but it's right there. Pinpoint it. Anyway, um, and I'm not losing anything. And I know, you know, like my trainer said, I think I've already talked about this. You know, quit playing, paying attention to the scale so much because you're building some. I'm building so much muscle right now. I'm still in the honeymoon phase because he's got me lifting heavier than before. And it's like I understand that, but like. And I know my body's changing still, but <sighs> wouldn't it be funny that the lowest I can get is like 230? <laughs> That would be hilarious without like doing like a severe cut. Uh, so my, I have an obsession with uh, Jersey Mike's uh, turkey and provolone. With, with like, you know, lettuce, tomato, the red pe pepper stuff, oil and vinegar, and salt and pepper. Oh, it is so fucking good. And it's like maybe 600 calories. I had that for dinner last night. A regular. Like, there's no way I could eat a, a full. I could eat a regular when I'm hungry, hungry. But... Oh, it's my favorite thing right now. Mm. <sighs> so, that's it. Yesterday, with my Jersey Mike sub... I was only at 1,424 calories yesterday. <laughs> okay, so my allergies are killing me and I'm eating spicy food, so it's just like nose running. Lovely. Mm. Got a Starbucks this morning. It is Friday. It is Friday. So I told Todd, uh, my class trainer, that I won't be there on Mondays starting this week, next week. He is going to Maine today. It's beautiful up there. It's too cold for me. Like to live, but... God, it's beautiful up there. And the seafood, the lobster, the lobster. Mm. I told him, eat a lobster for me, please. <laughs> he reminds me, Todd, my class trainer, reminds me of one of my brothers. Because all my brothers are, the closest brother in age is seven years older than me. I was a big whoopsie daisy. As my mom used to like to tell me, I was a Sunday afternoon nap that turned into something. 
And then she couldn't find her douche bottle. <laughs> and here I am. At least you know she got one girl out of the deal. But, uh... She, uh... Anyway, Todd reminds me of, like, an older brother. <sighs> mm. Four ounces of Simply Potatoes. 100 grams of egg whites. Two Laughing Cow cheeses. And some hot sauce. It's the best fucking breakfast ever. Keeps me full now until about noon. So I gotta get Olaf's food ready for him to go bye bye. Are you gonna go bye bye and go see Aaron? Huh? No. He's excited. He knows what bye bye means. No. Just you though, buddy. Mm hmm. I don't want to spend like $400 on boarding. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have a huge bruise on my left calf. I ran into a machine. Oh, hard. Oh, God, I'm sore. <sighs> I'm so sore. So that's it. Um, I got to get his food ready. Cause you're gonna go bye bye. Yes, you are. He's so fucking cute. Olaf, are you gonna go bye bye? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, you gotta stretch because he's been sweeping. Him's been sweeping. Do you want to go bye bye? Huh? Yeah, good boy. Him, yeah, is. I gotta get your food ready first, though, okay? Well, it's it's not right this I shouldn't have said anything. Because now he's gonna want to go right now, huh? Not right now. We gotta wait a few minutes. Yeah. So, you guys be good. Make good choices. Make a plan and fucking stick to it because consistency is the key. Um, Zach, I think his name is Zach Cohen on tick. He's on TikTok. Um, on Facebook, he has a, he has a whole, uh, yeah, Zach Cohen. Oh. Can you see him back there? What are you doing? Oh, you're being a good boy. Yeah. You said you mentioned going bye-bye, Mom, and I'm still sitting here. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, so you guys be good. I will see you next week. Bye.